Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can place checkboxes and option buttons, called radio buttons, into forms using Acrobat. This is helpful when Acrobat has failed to recognize a checkbox or a radio button during a form conversion, or when you want to add additional radio buttons or checkboxes to an existing form. Keep in mind that Acrobat's form editing tools are only accessible when you are working with a file that Acrobat recognizes as a fillable form. To add a radio button to a form, start by clicking the Prepare Form tool found in the Tool Center or the Tools pane. If the open document has not yet been converted into a fillable form, Acrobat prompts you to convert the file. If the open document has already been converted into a fillable form, Acrobat displays the Edit Form screen. Click the Add Radio Button tool found in the Forms toolbar. The pointer turns into a radio button when placed over the PDF form, and you can click to place the button at the appropriate spot in the document. Option buttons let a user choose one option from a set of options. After placing the first option button into a form, the Radio Button Choice tag appears. Option buttons are grouped together, and the grouping of buttons is named. If you only have one radio button in the form, you will see a message appear in this tag telling you that you need at least two radio buttons. Type the name of the choice that this radio button represents into the Radio Button Choice field for the button you just created. Also, type a name for the button group to which this button belongs into the Group Name field. You can also check the Required Field checkbox to prevent users from submitting form data unless they choose one of the buttons in this group. Because users must choose between multiple options using option buttons, Acrobat requires you to add at least one more option button to this group for the buttons to function. If you only have one option to present to users, you must use a checkbox instead. Click the Add Another Button hyperlink in the Radio Button Choice tag and then click into the document to place the second option button. Alternatively, you can just click the same Add Radio Button tool again in the Forms toolbar, and then click nearby the first Radio Button. Then type the name of the choice that this Radio Button represents into the Radio Button Choice field for the button you just created. However, leave the group name value of the second button the same as the first Radio Button you created to show that these are two options within the same option group. You can repeat this process until you have added all of the buttons you need to the group. If desired, you can click the Preview button in the toolbar at the top of the form to see what the form will look like to users. Notice that you can only select one of the option buttons that are available. Click the Edit button in the toolbar at the top of the form to exit the Preview mode when finished. In the Form Editing mode, you can see the option buttons group and its individual choices in the Fields panel in the Task pane. Adding a checkbox to a form is similar to adding an option button, except that checkboxes do not have to be included in groups. A user of the form may choose to check a checkbox or not. To add a checkbox, click the Add Checkbox button in the form's toolbar. The pointer changes into a checkbox, and you can click at the place in the document at which to add the checkbox. In the field name tag that appears, enter the name for the checkbox. Note that you can click the All Properties hyperlink in either the Radio Button Choice or Field Name tags that appear after adding an Option Button or Checkbox to open either the Radio Button Properties or the Checkbox Properties dialog boxes. You can then set the properties of the selected Radio Button or Checkbox in the dialog box and then click the Close button when finished to apply them. You will examine setting the properties of form fields in later lessons in this chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.